Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review, and this time it's for my friends again at Class A Fingerboards. It's a Canadian company, um, originating from British Columbia, and I have a lot of their products to review today, so get comfortable. Um, the first thing we're going to start with is some of their grip tapes. They've got uh, some skate grip style, which is that gritty one, gritty style uh, grip tape. Um, they have their Royal Supreme, which is um, has some nice pores there. If you like tapes that uh, that have pores, this is a perfect tape for you. It's uh, it's not too thick either. It's about around two millimeters, maybe a millimeter and a half thick. But it is very grippy, and it um, it wears in very easily, so it doesn't take long to wear in at all. Oops, sorry. And again, there are all the pores. But my preference out of all of the tape that uh, Class A has is their Royal Supreme tape. This is their uncut sheet, and it does not have any pores, which makes it a lot smoother than the Royal tape. But it also comes in pre-cut. These are two pre-cut sheets, and again, extremely smooth, very thin. It's like only a millimeter thick. It is out of the three tapes that uh, Class A has, this, the Royal Supreme, is my preference, only because it is the smoothest out of the three, and it's still very grippy, and um, uh, again, also works in and keeps getting better as it works in. They've also got some uh, some new stickers that they send with their products. This is just one of them. It is not a square. It is actually a round sticker. You just peel out the round part, and it will be round. It is not square. Then they also have their emblem, Class A. Now, this is not a square as well. It is actually cut out to the shape of the emblem, and you just peel it out. And then they've also got their original Class A fingerboards. And there's the website, classafingerboards.com. I'm also going to have the website down here, so you guys can go check out their assortment of products that they have. And I'll also have the YouTube channel, so you guys can subscribe for product updates. Now, one of the things that I love about Class A Fingerboards is that their products are super affordable. Um, I am, again, reviewing a lot of products for them today, so I'm not going to be able to shout out what the prices were because there's so many to remember. But definitely go check out the website if you want to see the prices on a specific item. They've also got tuning in a variety of colors. There's uh, some yellow, and there are some blue, and they come equi uh, also come set up with the washers that you require. Now, these bushings I have set up on some of the trucks that I'm going to be reviewing as well. I really like the bushings because they're not too soft, and they're not too hard. They're right, they're actually at the perfect tension, attention, the perfect um I can't even think of the word, but you know what I mean. They're not too hard and they're not too soft. They're actually right in the middle of that medium area, so you get a nice feel in your trucks. Um, speaking of trucks, I'm going to be reviewing some of those for you today. They have three types of trucks. They have their Performance, they have their Supremes, and they have their Superiors. The first ones I'm going to show you are the Performance trucks, and these ones came in black. Now, with their performance trucks, they come, this is a, a different color set that they have, which is more on the, oh, around orangey yellow color. It's a pretty funky color. I really liked it. But these ones come with just um, Tech Tech style bushings, but they all have flush base plates. There's no kingpin sticking out. And the thing that r I was really impressed with is that the axles are long enough to fit dual bearing wheels without having to glue your wheel nut. You can actually tighten the wheel nut all the way until it stops moving and the wheel will still roll freely on a dual bearing. So I thought that was really wicked. Now what I did with these, uh, the black performance trucks is I just put in um, some of their tuning that I got from them. And uh, these are the black ones. And see, even the black ones are more on the medium side. They don't have, uh, they're not too hard, not too soft. They're actually really perfect. And these are single bearing wheels that I put washers on to avoid um, the truck from um, 
wearing away the back of the, of the wheel because single bearing wheels are not backless. So you should put a, um, a washer on the performance trucks because the, tr the trucks aren't shaped and the hanger can eat away at the back of the wheel. Um, so again, I put washers in there and I was able to screw on the wheel nut all the way until it was completely tightened and I didn't have to glue the, the wheel nut to stay on and the wheel still rolls freely. Amazing. So those are the per, uh, performance trucks, and they've also got superior trucks, which are shaped trucks. Right in here, as you can see, they are shaped, and they've also got like a little bit of um, a wa kind of like a washer in there. So you, if you're using a single bearing wheel, you won't have to put a washer on. It'll automatically protect it because it is a shaped truck. Again, it also has. The flush base plates. There's no kingpin sticking out. And again, you can also fit dual bearing wheels without having to glue the nuts on these uh, trucks as well. However, the difference between these uh, and the performance trucks is they already come tuned with bushings and washers. There's some green ones in there. These are the chrome ones and they also come in gold. And the gold ones come already set up with yellow bushings. And um, they also have... The tension isn't that bad either. I really enjoy these trucks. The trucks, all their trucks are extremely smooth. And um, the one thing that I really like about all of them is the fact that they have flush base plates and you can fit any kind of bearing wheel on here without having to glue the wheel nuts. So I really enjoyed those. Now, the last set of trucks that they have are their superior trucks. Now, these trucks are a little different because they don't have axles. These are the gold ones. They do have flush base plates. And the kingpin is actually, and it's not the standard kingpin that comes on a base plate that already sticks up. This one, you actually have to go downward. And there's a different style head there and these already come tuned with black tuning as well I'm going to show you them on a setup if you look in here the kingpins I mean sorry the bearing screws are what make the axles so you're screwing the the ax the bearing screw in this way so you obviously could fit any type of wheel in there dual single bearing and um, again the wheel will roll freely you just put it oh, so you can't do it anymore the wheel will lock Loosen the bearing screw a little bit, and then your wheel will roll super freely. And again, they also have a nice tension with the bushings. And also, this these set of trucks, you will get the tool required to tighten and loosen your kingpin and the bearing screws. All right, so this comes equipped with the uh, sup uh, sup superior trucks. And out of all the three, the superiors are my uh, preference because um, I don't know. I just I just like the uh, the idea of being able to put in a bearing screw and not have to worry about a wheel nut. Even though you don't have to worry about the wheel nuts on those, I still this is my preference out of the three. But their trucks do come in a variety of colors. At least the performance trucks do. I think the Superiors and Supremes only come in gold and chrome. But again, go check them out at the website, which will be down here. Amazing prices. They range from, I believe it was like four fifty to twelve dollars for uh, for the trucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a uh, some of their decks. The first I'm going to show you is one of the custom graphics that he made for myself which is the Vicious 274 graphic. It says, keep fingerboarding two fingers piece. And you guys can get any graphic you like. Just uh, send him a message and see what he would do for you. This is a more of a mellow deck. It's got hardly no concave, actually. Right there. And the kicks are more on the low side. But uh, if you guys have seen my previous review that I did for Class A, they sent me a split ply prototype and I, I explained that they needed to work on the roundings of their kicks and they have improved by tenfold. The kicks are perfectly rounded. The sides are well sanded. 
He also has colored plies in there. It's very, very nice. Huge improvements from the last deck I reviewed for them. And they've also got some exotic bottom plies. And there you can see the um, the king um, the kingpin holes and the truck holes are perfect. I had no trouble mounting the trucks on. They were perfectly countersunk. And again, colored plies in the middle. Now, even though it's a more of a mellow deck, which is really something that I'm not... Uh, too, uh, too used to using. I'm more of a medium kicks, medium concave. I still really enjoyed this deck. It also has a very clean, crisp pop. And again, amazing craftsmanship from the last time I did a review for them. 100% improvement. And very, very affordable. And again, I'm going to show you the roundings. So you see that all their decks now are nicely rounded and sanded very very well done nice craftsmanship so again a wide variety of products as you can see go check out their grip tapes the grip tapes are amazing the trucks kick and the the decks are I just can't get over how great the products are and the prices unbelievable so go down here check out the website uh, for the prices and I'll put the YouTube channel so you guys could subscribe for product updates the company again is class a fingerboards go check them out and keep fingerboarding two fingers peace